Vegas, full stop parks or not. Uh, it sucks that this is like 30 minutes away, but with traffic it's like an hour. So, and it used to be close by to my house. It used to be like 15, 20 minutes. And not that much traffic. So, we went to Miss Vichy, picked up our part, and I was getting a spare tie, a spare key for the evil since I only had one key and when they reprogram it it was like 130 and I was like all right, all right it's cool it's fine do it so my car had three recalls three and so they didn't want me to leave the car there with the car so it stayed there overnight I gotta pick it up tomorrow they're gonna do the recalls and reflash my ECU uh, check for corrosion on one of the cross members and the airbag, side airbag. So, gotta pick it up tomorrow. So, they gave me a rental. I'm in the Kia Rio. I'll show you a video once I go back to the dealership again because there is an Evil 10 final edition there. And, should I tell them to? Your car? Your car. <laughs> yeah. So my girl is also thinking of getting a Dodge either Challenger or Charger and they have a Hellcat right there. So we're gonna go check out both cars. One the final edition for Marky Mark and the Dodge Charger for us. So going back there. So I'll show you videos of the car. Call me. Knock the hell out. She's smelling. Me, a white Kia Rio. Family car. Family car. No more sports car. But these are the Evos they have. The tens. So they have a black one, and they have the final edition, the white one that's up there. So. Um, I'm gonna go inside right now and see how much they're asking. Ooh, CF. CF hood. So let's look at the price. This one's supposed to be an MR. It's at 42. Yeah, it's at 42. Ooh, and it comes with dealer warranty. 50 50. Now let's go look at the final edition. This one, 2015. How much you guys want for it? It doesn't have a selling price. So let's go inside and check how much they want for it. Just looked at the charger. It's not a Hellcat. Baby lied. It's a Sky Pack. And they have some gay ass challengers. Basics um, for the evil, they wanted 30, 31. no, 37. Oh my god, 31 <laughs> seven something. That was the other one. No, that was the other one. I'm the no. one that's, I'm the one that asked Stop them. Biting. It hurts. How the hell they want the they want 31 for a final edition oh, with with. No, yeah. with, with, um, what, 20, 20? you say 37, he, he correct you. No. You say, no, I say 31, 7, something. Deja la mirar. Oh, sorry, mom, I didn't know you were peeping. Deja la mirar. Ay, que mala madre soy. Y si, y si, entrego un litro. No. Hey. They want 37. They want 37. For that one, they want 31. That one, this one has only 21,000 miles, and that one has 40,000 miles. Mm -hmm. So, which one is gonna cost more? They want to see the final. Yeah. Yeah, still has warranty on it. Up to 38,000 or three years.
so yeah I'm kind of liking these rooms I'm digging them Bye bye, Evo. So yeah, we're at Marky Mart's. Just showed up and just opened the garage and grab something to eat and see what we do. Okami's knocked the fuck out over there, or not? Mm -mm. Just enjoying the grass. So I just got my baby back from the dealer. Uh, they weren't able to reflash it. Supposedly it was tuned. Um, Saturday I'm gonna go check it out by the experts KT motoring and ask Phil if it's actually tuned if I should reflash it or not his recommendation um, they also told me that I had a bunch of wires behind my dash I need to fix that check it out because it's ugly back there and my cluster's not working something didn't get disconnected so I'll check it on another day now let's go home first today as you can see I'm gonna be working on the Evo um, dealership uh, took off my whole dash to do the recall on the airbags when they put everything on my cluster's not working it's not turning on watch so the lights are on right now and the cluster doesn't turn on yeah this is aftermarket so um, gotta change it up it looks like it only has two Phillips one two Phillips and then this plastic is gonna come off and you might have other screws on the cluster um, so that's what we're gonna do today so like I said so like I said there's a screw right there Not another screw right there and one right there and this cluster should come out um let alone we gotta disconnect the wire harness somewhere back there but we'll see right now i couldn't take it out uh figures out Remove this, just pull it. That would give you a little bit more room to take off this cluster. Hopefully, I can take it out now. So, a bunch of wires here. Um, right here, this one's not connected. And then we have another red wire over there, disconnected. And I'm going to check if that one has power or not. And see what this one is too. If it's a power or not. So. Got my tester right here. This one, it is power. So we're going to connect it. Um, that one, we don't know. Uh, it has no power. So it might be a ground or a signal. I'm not going to test it out. But. Let's connect this one, put the cluster back on, and see if it turns on. So that didn't work, so I'm trying to figure out where that red wire goes. Or where it's supposed to go, that has to do something with it. Um, and it goes over here, and it goes to this little relay box. You see that red wire, that's it. Um, I'm also trying to follow that small little black wire where it goes. But for that, I have to take this. It's somewhere back here, so. Um, two screws, Phillips, one there. And just clips, I believe so. So I figured it out. That red wire is supposed to go to power, which they tapped into this gray wire that's right here which is also power as you saw um, once I connect that to here and turn on the lights it's easier to turn on the lights
it turns on. Turn off. It turned off. It turned on. So that's what I gotta do. Connect that one to that one. And that's it. So I went to get this, I connect the wire. And look who's in my seat. Oh by the way, this is Rocky, my older brother's dog. So I'm gonna put this wire back on. I'm um, gonna use this. I don't know if you can see it. But uh, you do. Yeah, Marky Mark's on the line. So uh, I'm gonna clip these two. That way I get power and it's not loose. Put everything together because tomorrow I'm gonna see a tuner and seeing if my car is tuned or not. And if he, sh if he should recommend me to reflash it by Mitsubishi because there's a recall. So I'm just gonna get his opinion tomorrow. Um, I'll record it. I'll let you guys know. Um, back to it. Put this back. Call it a night and get some sleep because tomorrow morning I have to wake up early. I put everything back together it turns on it's wide and red so time to red. call it a night <laughs> Mark's still on the line <laughs> so we are here at KT you already all these evils here like always that one's not staying on Dad's gonna drive my Evo back home. He dropped me off at work. <laughs> Turned off on him. It's been a while since he drove his stick. So I just got off of work. Figures out my car is tuned. It has an aggressive throttle and aggressive timing, which I don't like. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go E85. I'm going to get injectors, pump, intercooler, and get it tuned on E85, and we'll see what it does on a dyno after that. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'm out.